Hi there. Okay, so I just thought I'd show you how to uh, create masks using Polygon Fill in Substance Painter. I did a previous video on creating masks using an ID map, and uh, this is slightly different. And you can create masks using Polygon Fill. So this is how you do it. So this is a axe I built earlier for another project that I'm currently uh, working on and you can see the polygons here just select uh, this tick box here to turn it on and off so create a texture sets over here I usually add an ambient occlusion uh, and then click on bake textures I've got ID ticked off just to show you that I'm not going to be using the ID so so bake the textures there you go. Okay, cool. So there's all my uh, texture set baked. Um, <clears throat> okay, so the first thing to do is let's create a few uh, fill layers. So if we go over here and click one, and we'll call this one head for metal head. Uh, next one, we'll call this one wood handle. There we go, like that. And then one more, we'll call it leather for the leather strap here. Let's call that one leather so we can see. Okay, so first thing, let's change all the colors so we can see what's going on. We'll make that one red. In fact, we'll make that one blue. Metal is usually a bluey cold color, so that's cool. Um, <clears throat> make this one kind of a yellowy brown. Like that. That'll do. Just to separate them. And the leather will make it much warmer. Yeah, red colour. There you go. And you can see straight away that this this one, the top one is is covering it. So so what we'll do now is we'll create a black mask on each one. Like that. Okay, so now to separate the different areas of the mesh using polygon fill, we need to come over here and select this this icon here, polygon fill. So select that and come over here as well and select uh, 3D, 2D, just so you can see what's going on. And over here, you've got a fill mode. You can use, you know, triangle fill polygon fill or mesh fill. Mesh fill will just do all of it like that and we don't want that to happen. You can see I've already created this. Let's just clear clear the mask. There we go. We can use polygon fill. So let's do the uh, head first. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can do it either on the mesh itself. So you start selecting the uh, polygons on the actual geometry or you can do it inside this window here which is quite handy and just drag and select the polygons for the head like that. and you can see up here your mask is starting to build so just get all the head like that Need to take that off don't want that in there Fill it all up. There we go. Okay, so that's the head selected, all of it. So we've got now to the handle, so we get all the wooden handle sections. So make sure you've got your mask selected up there and just start selecting all the geometry for the handle. Like that. And we've got another piece up here. Yeah, we've got the at the flat end and make sure you look all around your geometries make sure you captured all the polygons like that and there's a little bit on this other end here like that there we go oh, there you go I missed that and so you can see it in here make sure you capture it all 
like that. Okay, so and finally the leather strap. Well, we can see it's the last thing that's to be selected in here. So there we go, all done. Let's change that to 3D. That's it, it's all our masks. That one's for the leather strap, as you can see there. This is for the wooden handle, and this is for the head. There you go. And you now you can you can start you can start using these now. If I paint in there now, use a nice purple colour, that seems good. You now that's being masked. So very cool. So you've got to be careful because the only thing being masked here because it renders from the bottom upwards is the uh, leather handle but we can we can change that we can copy this mask into this layer in fact let's just try that if i do this if i paint across there okay so if we add a black mask there it all disappears we go here and we copy the black mask mask uh, go back here paste into mask there you go so that's work that works so all you're doing is copying it and you can carry on painting there like that. there you go paint into your layer and that's it that's how you create masks using polygon fill a really nice psychedelic for you hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you next time